Hockey is everywhere these days. The NHL, World Juniors, Junior A Challenge, the Spengler Cup. Isn't it great? But here's something I know you'll enjoy. My name is Andrea Sachinka and this is your daily KHL update. Avangar continues the quest for the playoffs as they host Amur tonight. And they get on the board early, just under 6 minutes into the game, Captain Denis Kulas scores his ninth from the slot on the rebound. Perfect start, 1-0 Avangard. Late in the period, Amur gets on a power play and they make it work. Old shot Bilalov takes a shot from the blue line, the run stops it, series of rebounds and follows, and Jan Morsak finally slides it in. That's his 12th, 1-1 after 20. Midway through the second now, Van Baranka feeds wide open Stefan Ruzhka and hash marks. He has all the time in the world and he snaps his sixth of the season. Avangard has the lead again, 2-1. Five minutes later, Amor's fourth line is out there. Mikhail Klimchuk has the puck in the right circle, meets no opposition whatsoever and he beats Garon for his fourth. We're tied again, 2-2 on the board. Early in the third now, Avangard on a power play. Sergei Shiroka fixes Maxim Gencherov. He takes a few strides in, winds up, shoots and he scores. Shirokov and Gencherov combine for the goal that puts Avangard back in the lead. And that brings Avangard a W. Maxim Gencherov's fifth of the year turns out to be the game winner. Home team takes three points and returns into the playoff zone. 3 2 final. Justin Hoshman makes his debut for Admiral after being traded from Torpedo, and tonight he's going to meet Algad Jalawulov and Brandon Bachensky. Should be interesting. First period, Viktor Drugov gets the puck on the left side, shoots on wide open net and Ari Ahnen makes a spectacular athletic save. Wow, we're definitely gonna see that a few times on the news and different highlight reels. What a save! Boris has to kill a two-man penalty a few moments after that, but Brandon Bachensky and Dustin Boyd run away for a two-on-one and Bachensky opens up the scoring. Last seconds of the period, Nigel Dawes wins the puck for Brandon Bachensky and he puts his second of the night to make it 2 0 Boris. Oh boy, this guy is on fire tonight, watch out! Armel gets a goal back midway through the second period, Vladimir Pervushin sends it in with a hard one from the right wing to cut Boris's lead in half, 2-1. But just 26 seconds later, Bachensky puts the puck on net from the left wing, rebound and Nigel Doss sends in his 16th. Boris restores their two-goal lead, 3-1. And four minutes later, Bachensky scores again as he tips in Roman Savchikov's shot on a power play. That's his third of the night and that's his third career KHL hat-trick. Moreover, that's his fourth point of the night. Absolutely incredible. Felix Schutz keeps it a two-goal game as he scores from in time with just 14 seconds left on the clock in the frame. 4-2 Boris up to 40. Home team goes for a similar play in the third and Konstantin Rudenka makes it 5-2 as he nets his seventh of the season. Nick Antropov picks up an assist on that play. Felix Schutz scores his second of the night and seventh of the year to bring Admiral back to a two-goal deficit five minutes later. Justin Hodgman gets his first point as an Admiral player. But Boris still wins it with a rather convincing margin as Roman Starship sends it in into an open cage for his 15th. It's a second shorty for Boris of the night, too. Lots of interesting stats in the game. The main one is plain and simple, though. Boris gets 3 points. 6-3 final. Moving on to Hunting Mansisko, Rafael Akhmedov and Manolog Novokuznets meet Kirill Knazov in Uber tonight. First period, Mark Skurda puts the puck on net, Sergei Yemelin tips it, and Igor Velishkin scores his first of the year, 1-0 Metalurg, and this is only the beginning. Late in the period, Artem Gareev shoots from the right wing, Captain Alexei Kasaurov tips it, and it's in the net. Kasaurov was his fifth and Metalurg leads 2-0 after 20. Second period now, Dmitry Fridenko loses his balance in Yugra's end, Pavel Konarski has a clear pass to the net, and he doesn't let it go to waste. That's his second of the season, it's 3-0 medal, Organ Yugra swaps Birikov for Kuznetsov and net. Three minutes later, 2-1 on one for Kuzne, Velichkin to Scooter, and he makes it 4-0 medal, it was his second career KHL goal. There is just no stopping these guys. Nine seconds of the period, Scooter to Nikita Vyglazov, to Sergei Yemelin, they score again! Melorg scores with just five seconds left on the clock in the second frame to make it 5-0. Unreal! Third period now, two-minute advantage for Metalurg and Tuka Mantila sends it in for his second of the year. Kuzni makes it 6-0. Unprecedented. They go on to win it 6-1 as Ivan Yatsenko scores the only goal for Yugra. Metalurg rarely gets a W, let alone a blowout W, but tonight's the night. 6-1 final. Vladimir Sahatsky gets his first KHL start tonight as his salivate plays Maxim Majorov and his Atlant. We pick it up from the second, Mitch Makarov hits team of Hardikanen on the left side. He makes his way into the slot and he opens up the scoring. That's his 12th and it's 1-0 Salavat. Shortly after that, Salavat has a man advantage. Nikita Filotov has the puck on the far post. 
sends a beautiful pass to Sergei Zinoyev and the puck is in the net. Zinoyev with his fourth and Fyodorov with the assist. 2 0 Salovat now. Still on the second, Evgeny Artukin has the puck, eyes Alex Kadekin, feeds him and he sends it in. Kadekin scores his seventh and Salovat's lead is cut in half. 2 1 now. In just 30 seconds after that, Nikita Fyodorov breaks into the zone, drop pass for Ivan Vishnevsky and he blasts it in. A lot of his not credited with the assist according to the official box score, but I'm sure they'll fix that. Great drop pass, greater shot, and 3-1 Salavat. A few minutes after that, Mitchell Makarov has the puck again, looking for somebody to make a pass to. Part of cutting goes me, 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 and he scores his second of the night. These two are just great to watch. Their chemistry is beyond awesome. Third period now, 2 on 1 for Salavat. Antti Pilstrom feeds Nikita Filotov, and his goalless draw is over. He scores his eighth and picks up his third point of the night. And that's his first game back after pneumonia, too. Alexei Miknov gets a late game power play goal for Atlan, but that's all the home team will get on this one. Salavat takes three points on the road as Filotov picks up three points. 5 2 Salavat to live final. Sibir outshot off Tembilis 31 to 18, but Jakub Kovac got the last laugh on this one, as Vasily Stretsov was the only player on both teams who managed to score a goal in the shootout. One nothing of Tembilis shootout final. And that's it for a daily KHL update. More KHL hockey is coming your way this Friday. Don't miss out on any of it. My name is Andreas Sachin, and I'll see you guys soon.